It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. Hi, you here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Y'all know Love and Marriage Huntsville airs April the 8th. We're all excited and waiting on that. They've been dropping little sneak peeks and clips on their Instagram. So I did pull a clip from there or a few so we can talk about them and discuss them here on our channel. So go ahead, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you can be alert when I upload so you can be up to date with all of the latest Love and Marriage Huntsville drama. Definitely don't want to alarm anyone with my title. However, I thought it was perfect and very fitting for this video because while I was watching some of the sneak peeks and trailers that they were dropping on Instagram, I also noticed that Letitia is trying to bring back the combat group and Kimmy put it in better words for us. She's just basically refurbishing the group that Melody and them already brought about. It brought me to want to go ahead and make a part two to who's copying who because it's getting kind of scary. Not only did I notice that Letitia and Marceau were trying to refurbish the combat group, I noticed that she's going to be having blonde hair this season, which I thought to be very odd because I went back and I got the footage of her trying to diss Melody's blonde hair. So like I said, this year is all about holding people accountable. It was also interesting to see how happy she was to embrace Melody when she went on the reunion last year to basically diss her and say that she is a devil in sheep's clothing which I'm going to hold her to all season long you guys so get ready I do also want to add that this is an outfit that she admired male in because she even mimicked this outfit after the fact so I'm just throwing that out there it's admiration as a whole and it's actually quite scary honestly and in my opinion this is somebody that she says is a devil in sheep's clothing, yet we have example after example after example after example of you being admired, well, of you being inspired and admiring her. So let's actually get into it, you guys. This is the sneak peek. If you guys want to actually hear the sneak peek, you should head over to their Instagram channel. But basically, the group and everyone come back together and you hear or you see Kimmy kind of being upset because she's like, like, oh, they're just reselling us the combat group, the combat group, y'all. Like, can you believe it? And girl, we can believe it. Like, y'all need to come up with a different storyline. We're tired. This is tired. This is worn out. We're dragging it. Let's move on. Also, you guys, I do want to discuss my theories about Tisha and Melody's relationship within this video. I think Letitia has always wanted a friendship with Mel. She have always been inspired by and admired Melody. However, her husband saw the confidence and independence that she was gaining from cultivating a friendship like that with Melody. And I think that he played a lot into the demise of their relationship or the reason why they could never actually cultivate a good long lasting friendship most excited about the ladies again here's tisha ready to bring us no storyline why would you be most excited about the ladies be most excited to tell us the truth about this lawsuit or the truth about gaining your independence or you having a multi-million dollar company so i can already see what this storyline is going to be with Letitia. i also see the blonde hair that she tried to knock melody for wearing I thought the blonde or the honey blonde looks better on her. The blonde that she tried to mimic with Melody didn't look so good in my opinion. But let's get into the rest of it. A love and marriage Huntsville. I would say that I'm most excited about seeing everybody mind their own business. And I hope everyone mind their business as well so much so i'm actually going to be the first to let you guys know i'm going to be taking all the count every time tisha opens her mouth and calls melody name i'm going to be keeping count every time melody opens her mouth and say tisha's name which is very not that's like the rarest thing ever i'm going to be keeping count because i could just remember how tisha behaved at the reunion last year and i'm pulling her card she's going to have to stand on everything that she said last year i'm tired of everybody just saying stuff and not really sticking to it when at the end of the day it is my theory that tisha wants to be melody friend but her husband does not like the friendship that she has with melody because melody inspires tisha to be something other than what it is that she is 
when she's with Marceau or when she's just stuck in her own brain. I could remember seeing a video saying on TikTok saying some people don't have no narration. I think Letitia is one of those people that do not narrate in her Letitia, head. They have yeah, ideas. Great. Good. Where did this hairstyle come from? That whole blonde long hair just made me think like if you don't have anything nice to say then you say nothing. Letitia has always come across on camera as disingenuine, which is why nobody really could relate to her. And even in that scene, you can see how fake she is. She's smiling in Letty face, whole time admiring her. Here's another example of Letitia doing team too much. In my opinion, it's too similar. This is an older picture of Mel. She has the big curly hair that's black light brown and a little bit more blonde and then the all white jumpsuit and then you guys have to pay attention to the earrings she has the long earrings right Letitia copied this look literally from head to toe and it is super scary the only difference is she has the red lip and her hair is longer and a little bit more brighter but this is the same exact look this is also the look she had for her combat group panel that we may or may not get to see on Love and Marriage Huntsville you guys get in the comments and let me know I know at this point it's not a reach but let's even go back a little bit further when Mel had Embrace Beauty, Premier Skin, and then Letitia had the Mummy Business Podcast, right? They're two separate businesses, yet somehow, some way, Letitia was able to mold her brand to have similarities to Melody's brand. And we all know Melody had Embrace Beauty way before Letitia thought of the Mummy Business Podcast because Letitia was, like I said, inspired by Mel and she admired Mel's business work ethic. I also think Letitia was in love with the fact that Melody had help from Martell and she also was a businesswoman and they also were successful at their business. Their home was almost a million dollar home. So yes, I am keeping up with everything because these people cannot continue to just throw accusations out there, i.e. being a devil in sheep's clothing, when these people have only tried to help you and we have so much proof of your being inspired and admired by Mel. And if you guys want to see that, check out this video. It's on my channel and I've created this to basically compare the looks that Letitia and Melody had because they were just too similar for somebody to not be copying anybody. And what we have debunked or not debunked, but what we have proven in that video is that Mel have always had these looks prior to Letitia coming to replicate them. So you guys go over there, check out that video and you guys count from how many replicas in that video or how many copies or lookalikes are in that video to the ones that I am now adding in this video and you let me know how many she has copied or how many looks she has copied so far in the comment section. However, next, I want us to take a look at Letitia and Marceau's marriage in the beginning or when we were first introduced to them. And I want to pinpoint, you guys, my theory of the start of the end of Letitia and Mel's relationship and Marceau having a lot to do with it. How event with Mel? How long did you know about this event, babe? She just asked me um, a couple of hours ago. So. Just the mere fact that she has to lie is a red flag. Well, how come I didn't know a couple hours ago? Because I haven't talked to you. I don't want to argue with my husband, so I cannot let him know that I actually found out about this event yesterday. Another thing I want to add Melody saw that Letitia was miserable in her situation and tried to help her by inviting her out to these networking events so she can gain her independence and find herself however you cannot help male identify women because no matter what they're always going to put themselves in a competing position you pick your battles in a marriage and tell a little bit of white lies my off day doesn't all of, all of a sudden become your playground next time i'll give you a 24 hours notice no don't give me a 24 hour notice babe give me a 12 year notice this is also a reason why it is my theory that he's going to leave her when them kids get old enough. Okay, well, okay. I'm going to need for you to watch your kids sometimes. No. Marceau, this is like a non-negotiable right here. 
So he really shouldn't have to watch his children because they're his kids. But it should have been a non-negotiable before you actually got pregnant with him. But allegedly, you were six months pregnant with him before y'all got married. This is not non-negotiable. Today, right now, this moment, it is. Like this oh, 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 conversation oh. <laughs> for watching the kids for two hours. Wait. I believe Marceau was really shocked. And if you pay attention to the body language, you can tell Letitia doesn't do this often. She doesn't have her way at all, actually. And I think that she thought because the cameras were there, she would surprise him with this. Kind of like the vow renewal. And he just does what he normally do. He has to show her who's in charge and make sure she knows she cannot make him do anything he don't want to do. He also never reassures her, which is also another reason why she lacks confidence in their marriage. Hey, you're trying to say that this, this right here is non-negotiable? Can you just do it for me like this one time? This and this is why Letitia would never be a boss, because she's a beggar. In her marriage, she is the beggar. She cannot have her way. She is not getting her way. P is not power. And at the end of the day, when you look at a woman like Melody, that is what she embodies, which is why she was able to leave that Martel where he was. It took some time for her to do it because she's a better woman than me and she was thinking of her children. But at the end of the day, she did it. This is not going to be a regular occurrence. An ongoing thing. Okay, gotcha. This is not going to be something that we do. Um Marceau sees Letitia and the kids as a burden which is why he looks at them as just a bill. I just got to pay these bills and I don't have to contribute emotionally in any way, shape or form because his emotions are elsewhere, el are elsewhere, allegedly, and in my opinion. If Letitia is out at a networking event with her friend, doing her own thing, finding her independence, he either has to be at home with them kids or he can't be where he actually wanna be or where he normally is, if you get what I mean. Just getting out there, going to an event. How are you doing? Oh, you look good. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Mark. It is also my theory that Marceau's alleged side chick, if he does have one, would be more of or take on more of Melody's persona, which is a boss chick. I get it on my own. I do what I want to do, which is why he is always so happy to embrace her. That's just my opinion. Bro, I am not stealing your wife. I am rescuing her from the last century. Again, like I said, Melody was the type of friend to where if she saw that you needed help in some areas where you probably didn't know how to step outside your comfort zone, she was willing to help you. There's something I wanted to holler at you about. But listen, you and Martell, y'all got your thing. You guys are doing what Martell and Melody do. And what Martell and Melody do is work as a unit. The reason why Marceau and Tisha can't work as a unit is because that doesn't fit his lifestyle. So what I mean by that is the reason why allegedly and in my opinion, Marceau affairs are able to go under the table is because he is not an active father. So he has no other responsibilities in his household other than contributing to paying the bills. Me and Tisha are doing kind of what me and Tisha are doing, and, and it works. So, so. I think. Okay, well, you, you can know. It does work. And I think this was the start. Marceau is smart enough to know that Melody wanted Tisha's or had Tisha's best interests at heart and wanted her to gain more confidence. Marceau absolutely knew that Tisha was a lot more confident when she was or had a friendship with Melody. That is my opinion. Tisha can, you know, go out there, have fun. We're not going out to have fun. We're going right. out to network and meet some people. Make some power moves. That's right. Okay, that's kind of not where we're going with it. Which is a red flag because I feel like if Tisha is out there making power moves, she can start to fend for herself and afford to pay and live and take care of her children on her own. And that'll be a problem for Marceau, especially because Tisha takes all the loans out in her name while Marceau is only paying the bills and not contributing any other way. We're not going to be a power couple. We're kind of like the regular couple. Marcel, stop it. No, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be no Martel. I'm not going to be having three kids. Okay, you guys. So my theory is Marceau is smart enough to know that 
Melody wanted the best for Letitia and he saw Melody as a threat to his marriage because at the end of the day, if Letitia was just as confident as Melody, she would be able to thrive in her life and without Marceau. And at the end of the day, he's a narcissist, so he was threatened by that. I think that he put the battery in Letitia's back to get her amped up to think that Melody didn't have the be her best interest at heart. When each time, as far as as, um, trying to give her hints and clues about the marriage I think that was Melody just trying to let her know so she wouldn't be in the dark little did Melody know Letitia is male identified so Letitia knew all about Martel's affairs she also know about her and Marceau affairs and she would rather stay there because she has nothing more to offer or that's what she thinks of herself so when Melody started to get herself prepared for her divorce this is why you saw Tisha creating or starting or just making up anything to have a beef with Melody and not accepting any of her apologies and things of that nature. She had her husband Marceau in the background trying to keep her away from a friendship with Melody, especially while she's going through a divorce. So it didn't inspire Tisha because he already knows his wife is super inspired by Melody. And I think that this was the overall start of the demise of the relationship. Y'all get in the comments and let me know if I'm on to something. Working, doing all this other stuff. But you do have, here. just have three kids though, Marcel. Uh, she has three kids and I just happen to be their dad. You think so? Hey girl. Hey, look at you. You look good. Thank you, so do you. <laughs> Y'all let me know in the comments, did that look like the walk of a confident woman? In my opinion, no. Also, my theory is because Letitia is male identified, it doesn't matter with those women. They're going to always put themselves in a competing position against you, no matter how much you try to embrace them. So instead of Letitia trying to be there to confide in male, she was actually threatened by that because she knows her husband is doing the same thing, if not worse than what Martel has done so instead of her being able to confide in her she was threatened by that and she felt embarrassed by that because in it made her look weak ultimately in my opinion I also feel like Marceau continued to make her feel like she wouldn't be able to elevate without him and once Mel started to elevate outside of her divorce that is what con he that is what he continued to push the narrative that as if Mel didn't have Tisha's best interest at heart which is why you would see him on the reunion not necessarily defending his wife i.e. when it came to the texting allegations but also stroking her delusional world tisha 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 and also um throwing stuff under the on the table as far as uh saying oh well melody when do you hold yourself accountable as if melody doesn't hold herself accountable it's him just you know throwing um adding fuel to the fire basically not necessarily helping resolve anything because he doesn't want his wife to have a relationship with melody and that's why a lot of times I say, you know, my life, my blueprint, because it is about discovering the life for you, not yeah. the life, especially, you know, with Instagram, you know, it confused people a lot. You see this, you're like, oh, I want to mimic that. And it's like, it's okay to be inspired, but discover who you are. And I just want to end this video off with a question. Why do you think Letitia said it could be hard for some people to not mimic? Because I don't find it hard to not mimic. I can be inspired by somebody and not mimic them at all. So y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and you get in the comments and let me know what you think. Well, you can just live your best life. So It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not. In, no. in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not. In